Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Saturday, November 27th, 1.15 p.m. New York time. Well, the market had a further sell-off this past week. Let's compare the Dow Jones Industrial Index, which has 30 stocks in it, the 30 largest United States publicly traded companies, be the chart here, the grid on the right, and we'll compare them one by one with each of the stocks that are inside the Dow Jones, and we'll do them by off the border. First, looking here at the Dow Jones, each candle's a week, so the past three weeks, see the highs the tops of them they made lower highs the bottom of the weekly candles have been making lower lows the trend is down it's doing retracement look so my drawings zoom in so we had a trend from the bottom here to the high so that was a bullish trend and now we're doing a retracement for that bullish trend Here is the low of the year, down here near the bottom left, here's the high of the year. So for the year, it's been bullish, it's been trending up. See these gray boxes, consolidations break out to the upside, consolidation break out to the upside, staircase pattern higher high. That's what's been occurring. And then in this area, it's been making a huge consolidation. And we're retracing into that consolidation. And at some point in time between here in this yellow horizontal line swing low, we should expect to see a bunch of buyers coming in. What day? Don't know. Just have a price level. We're looking for that. So what we want to identify is if you're a person that decides to choose to invest in those individual stocks instead of the doc, stock index or the Dow or any other index, let's find the strongest stocks within the Dow that are either outperforming the Dow, which would be even better, or performing equal to consider buying on the pullbacks when a trigger occurs to buy them. Got it? You don't want to catch up on life. So first start off with Apple. There we go, Apple. Let's take this off. Drawings on the right. Again, the trend is down for the Dow Jones, lower, low, lower, high. Remember that. It's going to be tested. Lower, low, lower, high. Apple made a higher high, higher low, all-time new high. So it's outperforming the Dow Jones leadership. Yep, this is one to put on your watch list. Consider buying when a trigger occurs to buy it. Alpha Mike Goff November. Well, it's near record low for the year. <laughs> it's underperforming. That's not leadership. No. Okay. There's better ones than this. American Express, Alpha X-Ray Papa. It's also <laughs> selling off. And notice here, here's a high several weeks ago. And during this retracement, it failed to take that out. So even weaker, weaker than the Dow Jones. Yep. And it broke below this key level, which was a demand zone, buyers are here before, and it actually broke the it. Boeing, Bravo Alpha. 
Yep. Here's the low of the year, very close to it. That's not leadership. Here's the high for the year. Nope. Caterpillar, Charlie Alpha Tango. Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. Yeah, the past three weeks have been trading down just like the Dow, but it's way off the ties. That's not good. No. Charlie Romeo Mike. Yep, finally, here was a consolidation this past week's yellow inside candle, broke below it this week, coming into this midpoint. So yeah, it's stronger than the Dow because it did not break apart as early. So again, put this on your watch list to consider as a bullish entry. And if you're a new trader, or if you've been around trading for a while, you might want to still to some of the trade ideas I mentioned, meaning buying one share, just one share of the good stocks. If you can't manage that, don't be buying two shares, 10 shares, 100 shares, 1,000 shares or higher. Yeah, regardless of what the price is, you know, you either buy them in those micro brokers that can let you buy fractions, fraction brokers that let you buy fractions of the shares if you don't want to buy the full share. But again, focus on the ones that are outperforming or doing better than the index. One way again is to get, buy the single stock if you don't want to use that much capital, AA capital mean cash. Then again, go fractions. So this is one to watch. And I'll see what happens if it does a reversal there. Cisco, Charlie, Sierra, Charlie, Oscar. Yeah, last week came into this demand zones where buyers was rejected, it ran up. Also last week we took out that, sorry, not last two weeks ago, that red candle, took out that swing low, but closed above it, that's bullish. Let's remove that. Yellow horizontal. And for the week, we made an inside candle indecision, but rejected 55. So not till it proves itself. I didn't prove my prove itself yet to want to buy it because that red candle, yeah, that looked nice, but we didn't have follow through with that inside bar. So I rejected 55. Yep. Some people might be jumping in early. I'd rather sit on the hands of weeks. Charlie Victor, X ray. Chevron. Yep, it's holding up better than the Dow Jones. So makes sense. It's in the energy sector. I'm sure a lot of institutions are picking this up because there's been a lot of gains and then I'd be seeing further benefits. Yep, but again, it may break apart and pull back. So I have my alert set watching for a pullback. I'm not ready going yet. Disney. Well, it speaks to itself. Yep, took out the lows and made a new low for the year. That's not leadership. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's not the place to be in. Dow Chemical. Hmm, it's a huge consolidation. That's good. That's good. Sellers are not running for the door. They're not exiting and flows. No, it's an consolidation. Very good. Very good. Hasn't proven itself yet. It's just an acceleration, which has been staircase pattern, pattern. Yep. But that's one. Yeah, it's way off the highs. I'm just saying. It might have, it could also have reversed, but there's better ones than this. I already showed you a few. Goldman Sachs, big financials. Yep. Mentioned in the past videos, in the financial videos and the past Dow videos that the banks, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, they broke down earlier and gave clues they were breaking down earlier than the Dow Jones index. So you had a high hair, retracement, new high, and that new high failed to have follow through. That was the early triggers that, again, to be bearish those financials. And if you've done that, you would have been doing good. You'd be making money on the downside. Home Depot, outstanding. Look at that. New high for the year, leadership, outstanding outperforming the Dow. And there's a midpoint to watch for, yep. Outstanding. H-O-N, Hotel Oscar November. Nope, big break, self. oof, just look into that, yeah. IBM. New low for the year the past two weeks, took out the swing low, that's not leadership. Struggling, who are they listening to? <laughs> Maybe leadership needs to change. Yeah, find out 
what's wrong with leadership in that company? They're letting stuff be taken down. For Microsoft, they're doing the right business plan. Intel. Yep. Look at that. Here's the lows for the year. And almost back there again, that's struggling. Johnson and Johnson. Mm. Struggling. It's in a huge consolidation. Still struggling. JP Morgan, yep, speaks for itself. I already mentioned the financial, but it's one of them. Yep. So it broke below that swing low twice, but closed above it. So maybe buyers step again. Yep, watch that one closely. Kodak, I mean, not Kodak, yeah, hello. Coca Cola, Charlie, Kilo Oscar. Oh, huge sell off feeling. Yep, pretty bad. McDonald's, all time new high for the year. Outstanding. You go, people, for those carbo carbs. <laughs> okay. All time new high. Let's take that out. Yellow horizontal line. So, again, that's outstanding leadership. It's huge consolidation. 3M. Mike, Mike, Mike. Excuse me. Yep. It's back here in the consolidation. Rejected, did go below $175 and closed above it. That was an acceleration, but still weak, way off the highs. Merck, M R K, Mike Romeo Kilo. No, it's struggling. Yeah. Close below that 80. Hmm. Okay, Microsoft, outstanding. For the week, made a new high for the year, outstanding. Pullback. Yep, oops. Let's fix this. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So Microsoft, being that it made a new high for the year, and then sold off. It looks like some buyers stepped in. But again, I'd have midpoint labeled where to watch for a potential retracement and buying opportunity. Nike, November, Kilo, Echo. Just a few weeks ago, I had that new high. And now it's in a huge consolidation. Huge consolidation. Yep. Procter Gamble, Papa, Goff. All time new high for the year. And then sold off. Huge tail on the top, small bot in the bottom. Bearish pin bar. The following week also, the prior week is to that also. Huge sell on the top, small body, bearish pin bar. So we have two bearish pin bars, but each of them making higher highs for the week and higher lows. I expect this is going to have a sell off. Don't know how deep it's going to be, but there's um, traders here that are definitely selling because they're not holding it near the highs. It runs up to highs. There's nobody following through to luring enough new buyers to hold it up there. Nope, it's selling off. So maybe I'll be looking to buy some put options on there. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. Suspicious, yep. Hmm. Find out. And another financial, Tango, Romeo, Victor. Huge consolidation, struggling. Uniform, November Hotel. Yep, retracement. Again, just shy of high. So this is still very strong because it hasn't sold us closer to the high of the year and it's still doing pretty well. Yep. So I'll watch this one closely. Potential opportunities to reload. And Visa. Nope. Not good. One of the bad financials. Look at that. Tested the swing low and made a new low for the year. Not good. What's wrong with Visa? Hmm. Not surprised. Verizon. Also, new low for the year. Not good. Too low for the year. Terrible. Yep. Whiskey, Bravo, Alpha. Huge consolidation. Yep. So there's buyers been stepping in just shy of the or above the $45. Let's we'll see if it holds there. Yep. Because I also have a lot of uh, overhead supply sellers. So I watch that closely, but that's not so good. And Walmart. 
Inside camps of a week. So interesting. The week didn't decide what it wants to do. It just wants to stay inside the range. Yep. We'll see if we have further downside of that. So now takeaway is majority of them are underperforming the Dow. So there's very few of them that made new highs for the year. So again, you'd be better off if you've been buying the Dow Jones stock ETF or those ones I defined several times as leadership here. Yeah, struggling. Okay, so end of another week. The month is almost over and then we'll come back and look at the monthly, not too far, but let's briefly look here, just in the monthly on the Dow Jones, see what's occurring. So for the current month for the, which is not ended for November, it's red for the month. Of course, it made a higher high and we're inside the range of prior. So look at this. Let's see if I still have my settings on. There we go for the month, yep. Well, stay tuned, because I'm gonna give you an update in this days or weeks ahead. And I'll be watching it faster than that for a possible trade ideas. If you're my Patreon, you get to hear those alerts.